Welcome, Chosen One. What is up, Asoles? Welcome back to another Gwent video. Fourth video I'm recording today. On my first day recording again. Third gameplay video, which is intense. Uh, today, I want to try some more tart bandits. Uh, I've been tinkering a lot with monsters this season. Definitely my most played faction uh, this month. Um, this was the deck that I started out with, and it went well for the like rank 16, 15, 14. But then I just started grinding mid-range fruits. Like a pussy. Um, but uh, I'm a big fan of bandits. Like One of my f favorite concepts in, in Gwent. Like all the bandit reworks were, were s some of the f most fun changes uh, to the game. Uh, in my opinion, uh, the, the, the bonded synergies... And just all the reworks working with that. And I've been trying to make bandit decks in, in different factions. Uh, Monsters has been my most successful NR, kind of. Um, you no, know, way back I did a uh, a Monsters Bandits deck with... Uh, what's it called? Blood Scent? Blood Scent. Right, because you, you give bleeding with the jugglers, you give bleeding with the plume arts. You get a decent amount of bleeding with your leader, and then you just have a big Regis Reborn finisher. And it was actually decent. Uh, then for this, I, I originally tried a Arrakis Swarm list, which is it was basically the same list, but I had Hive Mind. Because this will generate, you know, four units in your graveyard for uh, for Morntart. If you don't know what Morntart does, she banishes all units in your graveyard and boosts self by one for each. So we want to get a lot of units in the graveyard. And I'm not the first one to do this. I, I saw recently that Shinmiri had actually done one a while back. Uh, I just wanted to see if others had done it. And he has. And uh, the Tisha Mutna sword, I just copied from him because I, I didn't really know what to do here. You, I think you can do Commander's Horn reliably well here. Uh, you can do Surrender if you're seeing a lot of Reaver Hunters. Maybe Nilfgaard Soldiers. Necromancy, I don't think it's good enough. If this costs 6, I would definitely try to play it in Bandits to just ensure the Bonded Pairs. But there, there are different things you can do. Uh, but I'm, I'm copying the Tesha Mutna Sword from uh, Shinmiri. Otherwise, I did put everything together myself. It's, it's a very self-built deck. Like, it builds itself, so I'm not taking too much credit. But this was the only card I net decked. So the idea is just to fill up, fill up the graveyard for Big Warren Tart. How do we do this? Well, Iron Falcon Troubadour is a unit that spawns a unit. Two units. Uh, Lesser Witch spawns two units. Either one on board and one in graveyard or two on board. Highwaymen are two units that just come out for free. Uh, Caravan Vanguards. Vanguards. Uh, you know, two units per play. Roach and Knickers, just units coming out for free. Gascon Iron Falcon creates a unit. Free company, if it sticks, will help us just pull out as many units as we can. And, you know, Mushy Truffle. It's, it's not a unit that plays a unit, but it plays a unit. So it's still a good card in the deck. And your Mortar can easily hit for over 20 points in this. And I think that's that that's enough. That that warrants this ten provision card, and it's it's a nice finisher. Uh, a little bit cheaper than the Regis Reborn, and actually often worth more points. And uh, I think uh, it's fun. I, I love playing bandits, and I love when when the faction you're playing bandits in just has like just like 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 bandits. They have a finisher in Gascon, but just having another finisher, just a bigger one, is awesome. It's really, really cool. And uh, we're playing with Carapace. Uh, Shinmiri also did this, but I did land on the idea of Carapace before seeing that he did it. I just, I want my credit. Uh, because we, we have basically just three units in the deck we want to protect. Free Company, and the two Knife Jugglers. 
sometimes we'll make more knife jugglers, but generally speaking, it's just these three. And then three charges of boosting by three is pretty good protection. Nine point leader divided amongst three charges is pretty good. One of the reasons I went with Blood Scent the first time is because it's just it's a super valuable leader. It's 12 points, and you can divide it up very flexibly. So it's it's a really good leader for just mid-range. I honestly I wonder why we haven't seen more mid-range Blood Scent stuff. I guess maybe Vampires is mid-range. I don't even know what mid-range is. I'm just saying the word, because I play card games. Um, but yeah. It's it's a bandit deck all in on bandits with the truffle, the company, the Gascon. We have one, two, three, four, five bonded pairs, so Gascon can become seventeen points. I know, I know, it's kind of a pussy move to not go for the twenty point Gascon, but I want this deck to be somewhat playable. And whenever I go for the twenty point Gascon, it rarely works, and it just makes even the seventeen point Gascon less consistent. So we're going with the five bond pairs because that is the most we can realistically achieve in a game. But uh, yeah, I have not played this deck in the higher ranks yet. I'm expecting some resistance, but uh, if I can get even just one win, I am uh, very, very happy with that. I'm going to set up my cosmetics. You know, you've... Uh, probably seen this a lot because I always wear the same stuff on my Yennefer the ivory battle mage kit just a random coin and we're ready to go thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the video enjoy the games and uh, let's play some bandits bandidos all right Nilfgaard that's fun I go first that's fine I mean it's decent because I can give Vale to free company if I draw it round one I did okay okay Enslave, they can't enslave it. They can't enslave it. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> they couldn't deal <laughs> with the Morn Tart. Alright, pro tip. Don't play when you're tilted. What am I doing right now? You are goddamn right. I am playing while tilted. Let's go. I mean, one to shuffle this and one to just be eight points. That's not bad. This to set up this. God, I hate this sword. Betsy is good. Really, really wanted this? What's the point of going first if I don't get the free company? Hmm? Exactly. What is the point? That's alright. Imposter, aristocrats. Oh, it's so fun to play against. Just gotta draw my heat wave. Unless they are round one ball players, in which case. Why are you doing that? Why would you have... Okay... Something big? That's four. Okay, that roach is pissing me off. Mm. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna. Da -da. That's why we have Betsy. Betsy fixes problems. Betsy is a good, good girl. Alright, so it's constructs. I wish armor were a status so I could just. Hit it. Betsy drawing. Lesser witch. Shuffling back everything else. Because it sucks. I should be hitting this at least a little bit. 
because they have a uh, alchemist. Is that what it's called? Just an alchemist. Yeah, but like that's that's whatever. That's nothing. Check out these points. Yeah, we kill you. Let's not give them smaller units. Unless we have to. Pop. Ba 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 da ba ba da ba da ba da suck your dad. Hmm. They pass. You pass. Why? Didn't even get to use my Betsy. That's actually a lot of value lost for me. That pisses me off. Okay, that's something to shuffle with strays. That's something we don't need unless we do. It's kind of good. That is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Ba 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 da ba ba da ba da la suck your dad. Boom. We're gonna play some big bronzes. We're gonna beef up this Gascony. Got my graveyard is looking pathetic. What? What? No. No 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 no. No 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 no. No that's theirs. That is 100% theirs. Are you actually serious? It's a bandit construct deck. Rock Barrage. God, you know what? I don't care that much. I mean, they're playing. They're a construct deck playing Rock Barrage from hand. Like, it's. Just... That's a win. How do you fit. No, because you. What? Is this theirs? It is theirs. They did not take it from me. They they couldn't take it from me. It's theirs. But you're gimping the the bonded package so hard with the constructs and just the random shit. Ooh, should I been I can only get. I mean, I get. Do I have? Do I have time to get two things? If I get him now, no, I don't have time to get two things. I'm one turn late. To get him now, and I play that and trigger. Cooldown goes. To. Two, one, zero. Yeah, I can't do it. No, we're just uh, we're just beefing up the graveyard a little bit here. I think. It's okay. I mean, they're gonna spam these like crazy, so these are good, but, you know, whatever. They don't have Ren Free. I mean, <laughs> Ren Free. I got Ren Free on the brain. Mortart. They don't have Mortart. Just, uh, I'm just uh, bleeding, filling up my yard. You know, got that good yard going. Got a couple of good finishers, both of which they're probably gonna have tall removal for and like double last says. Well, not double, but they're gonna have card advantage in there for a last say. So only one of them will be dying. 
I hope. Let's see, Plumard. Way to make bandits boring, my friend. And they're not playing bandits. Hello. Hello. Alright, I'm a card down. But I've got six points to carry over. Six points a leader. Tesha Mutton Sword, that once again is gonna suck. Worst card in my deck. Oh, that's... Oof, do I have any? Nope. So you gotta go, and you gotta go. I have to choose between Morn Tart and Heat Wave. Yeah, choose Morn Tart. Because she has 23 points. That's a lot of points. I did get guess gone to 17. I actually wasn't sure how I was doing on that, but it makes sense. So that's good. Play four rock barrages, yes. But uh, yeah, I think we'll both just settle for one. You have to play for the truffle here a little bit. This is like always the biggest play. Like every time I play Gascon, it's like, okay, two shit units that I can't use, and well, a six power unit. That also gives them a better imposter. It's still six points, so it's not a good leader. Says the guy with a six point leader. Never mind that. Never mind my six point leader. Theirs is actually seven, so uh No, come on. Not more tart, not more tart, I will kill you. Okay. I oof, I would have. Okay, more tart, carry us, girl. Yes! Oh, a card down. A card down. A motherfucking card down. That's right, Zimlinica. Oh. <laughs> if this is Blazer Glory, I'm gonna actually piss my pants. Okay, it's pirates. That is not better. And I'm going first again. Yay. Hell. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. This, <laughs> this deck is too good. What's with the forfeiting? Scoyatel, you know what? Scoyatel, I'm happy to see you. It's just Skellige and Nilfgaard. Can we stick a free company against Guerrilla Tactics? Oh, I would... For once in my life, I want to stick a free company. No, 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 no. That kind of sucks too, because I wanted to pull it. I wanted to pull it with that. I mean, I can just shuffle with Betsy. But then we're just just wasting turns, you know. Really wasting turns. Like, I don't want to waste that many turns. Do we just hold off on these? I think it's okay. If, if we stick this... 
Like, it's just good value. Please survive, and if you do die, please don't die specifically because I boosted you. Don't curse scroll for a heat wave. What what is this commander? Could be like a harmony. A harmony has dabbled in guerrilla tactics, but I don't know why they have sappers. Well, it is harmony. It is very much harmony. It is very much harmony. And I don't know how to deal with that. I mean, this free company just sticking it will help very much with dealing with the harmony. Catwitcher. Are you fucking kidding me? Catnip instead of crowns? Uh oh. These, those are good. Pull those back. I'm done. Poison. Really, you're gonna poison me? Do I bounce this? I mean, this one is better for bouncing, but, uh... I mean, yeah, we can... Assuming it's gonna die, I do want to do this. I got a sleeping baby and he was making some noises. Yeah, he's up. Okay, I gotta try to play Gwent. While calling a baby. Hopefully he just needs his uh his little thingy thing. Do I have you know I can do this. I can do this. Easily I can do this. Gotta go save my child. Let's go. Gotta take care of some epic baby action. Boom. I need a light. This is stressful. Yeah. 
Come on, opponent. Please just forfeit. Please just forfeit. Poor baby. Away from my webs. Away. Like and subscribe. the light so he doesn't wake up too much I didn't even notice this coming down that's okay we're winning we are winning we can win we can win the game daddy's winning What the hell? That's pretty good. Uh, uh, uh. Keep them playing. Keep them playing. points nothing personal i assure you uh, 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 uh. don't look at the screen boy you're too young to be a youtuber shh, 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 shh. your voice is lady you Okay, just gonna win this game and then I gotta put this little boy to bed. Mwah. Okay, Mortar is good. Uh, sword. I'm actually just gonna go with these. It's gonna really help. The bonded. Keeps looking at the screen. He's not supposed to look at the screen. Do you think they're ready for the uh, twenty-eight point? Seven, six. Montard, let's go. Really forfeiting, not letting me just pass. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. We won, though. Yay! Yay, yay! All right, I am back. Sorry about that. <laughs> I feel like a terrible dad and terrible YouTuber right now, but uh, at least we won the game. Uh, I did not pay attention to those last few turns. I, I completely missed the, the scenario, but luckily we were in a position where it did not matter. <laughs> 
So that was good. Um, I remember the match ended with a big Morn Tart. That I remember. By the way, uh, he's uh, he was a little bit hungry. I gave him some food, and he is very close to falling asleep again. So I'm just gonna wrap this up and then uh, go make sure he finishes the job there. Uh, great kid. Uh, in case anyone is gonna ask, I will not be showing him on camera. That's the way we've decided to do that. You know, you you saw his arm in darkness and some shit, but uh, that's it. He's a great kid, though. Really happy, smiling all the time. Chubby like his old man. It's awesome. Alright, more time bandits. Um, really fun deck to play. Uh, I think all bandit decks are fun to play. And I think Mortar just really, you know, fits really well into it. I think... Maybe, like, she does kind of nullify Gascon a little bit. Not nullify, but... You know, like, you're getting last save for your big finisher, and that's Mortart. So you're playing Gascon the turn before, and so they can use Tall Removal on him. And maybe he's losing some value from that, but just having two big finishers is kind of nice. Uh, free Company... God, what can I say? The card almost never sticks. <laughs> never sticks. Even with a leader charge, and that just makes it feel so much worse. Like, if you just play this and it gets killed or whatever, heat waved, that's fine. But as soon as you invest leader charges in it and it still just gets wiped just as easily, that, that sucks. Um, but I, I do think the playstyle does lend itself well to Mortart. As you can see, you know, Mortart easily surpassed 20 points. You know, often closer to 25. Uh, I have gotten her above 30, I think. Is that even possible? I think I did some, some funky shenanigans there. Uh, it was against, like, pirates. Like, they kept killing all my units even in round 3, so... And I still lost. Whatever. But, uh... Yeah, it's... Bandit's really, really fun archetype. Uh, not every faction can play them as well. Uh, I'm still struggling to find the best one. Monsters have been the best so far, just because they have like these these finishers that you can intertwine really well with the Bandit's package. Uh, Tesha Mutna Sword uh, was the worst card in the deck today. I often mulliganed it in round 3. Uh, it sucked. It's not a bad card. I actually really love this card. It's one of my favorite removal cards in terms of design. But uh, I don't think I don't think you run this. Like it's it does it doesn't seem to be any good targets for it. At least I couldn't find any. So you can go like point slam with commander's horn. You can tech with surrender. Uh, you can all of course you know mix and match the provisions and and upgrade or downgrade the card. Doesn't have to cost seven. Uh, but I feel like the, the bronzes, they get good value. Uh, we have good thinning. Uh, these cards very rarely brick because of Strace of Spala and One-Eyed Betsy. Like, we have a lot of shuffling. You know, One-Eyed Betsy draws specifically bonded units. So, like, she will never draw Highwaymen. She will never draw Rocher Knickers. And then she can shuffle back two cards. So, she is so good for consistency. I, I honestly wonder if, if maybe with like a one point buff or something, one eyed Betsy with some uh, some decent bonded units could be like a consistency package in in decks with a lot of bricks, like Lippy Ceres and stuff, because she is so good for uh, fixing bricks. And uh, yeah, her her order effect is is really good in a bonded deck. Uh, really good with uh, Caravan of Vanguards. Can be good with Lesser Witches, especially if you have a one strength Lesser Witch from the Troubadour. You play a Lesser Witch for 10, and then you bounce the, the, the one strength one for for a 9 point order effect on Betsy. So suddenly she plays for 16 plus consistency. It's really good. So the, the card has good combos, good synergies, 
powerful finishers. Uh, you can definitely fit in control, even more control if you feel like you need it. Um, honestly, the, the one thing that I really want to change that I, I, for the love of me, can't find out how to do. I don't feel like I need a Neuromancy. Like, I could easily settle for Royal Decree. Open up four provisions. But I don't know what to do with them. Like, what, Tesha Mutt and the Sword upgraded to an 11? 11s are shit. They're all shit. I had Poet in for a while. I don't think I even tested the deck with Poet before I took him out. Because, uh, you know, he's, he's consistency, he's an extra unit in the graveyard. Maybe he is good. Honestly, he probably is good. But I'm not sure. He's very expensive. If he costs 10, oof, I would. I would. At 11, I'm a little bit skeptical. Maybe he's worth it. I mean, again, thinning, tempo, extra unit in the graveyard. Could be good. Anyway. That was Morntart Bandits for ya. Uh, probably, I mean, it, the most fun bandit deck. I mean, oh, that's not true. The Melitale Bandit deck, which I am trying to recreate and improve upon, by the way. That's the most fun. Because you've got the Melitale uh, uh, big board boosts and and stuff going on in the background. It's That one is more fun. But th th this one like, feels right. Like, Morntart feels right in a Bandit deck. Just because of all the units you can spawn. And the fact that Monsters has like a really good bonded unit that works with Mortart really well, that, that's that's beautiful. Like th this Mortart really feels right in the bandit deck. So in that sense, this this deck does feel better than any other bandit decks I've played. But uh, I don't know, I feel like there's there, there's more to explore with bandits. And I would love to hear if any of you have any ideas for, for how to play bandits. Especially outside of NR and monsters, because I haven't really found a good way to do that. Uh, Syndicate I haven't even tried, because I don't play Syndicate. Too much of a noob. But, uh, you know, that's... That's on me. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you had some fun watching the Mortart Bandits. Uh... I did not... I don't think I had a positive win rate. I mean, I probably did because of the two instant forfeits. Like, during the, the mulligan screen. That was weird. Uh, but in terms of actual games played, I probably lost more than I won. Uh, you know, say what you will about that. Again, I, I don't... I, I, I really try to find new ways to play Gwent. Or, you know, less explored ways to play that are more fun, more combo-centric, more synergy-based, and just more off-meta. Like, I can I can enjoy, like, a good Tier 2 deck, even the occasional Tier 1 deck. But th there's so much to explore in Gwent that is just not being explored because it's a little bit too weak. But we gotta explore it to find out what could actually be potentially good with just a few balance council tweaks, you know? Now, I don't know what I would buff about bandits, but I do feel like just a few buffs here and there. The free company, I don't want to put him to 7 power, because it's the golden rule. You gotta die to 6 damage removal. But maybe 9 provisions? I don't know. We'll see. It's a fun deck. I do recommend playing it if this looks like your type of deck. Otherwise, you know, stay tuned for, for more decks. Until then, have a good one. I do hope to see you again soon. Now I gotta go check out my son, because I think he might be asleep now. Please. I love him. Have a good one. Bye.